It is carpet day, Friday morning carpet day. And I'm chilling out with the kitties right now as she hisses at Cooper. <laughs> um, so sometime within the next half hour, carpet guys are supposed to be showing up and everything's pretty much ready. I just have to take a few things out of here. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a couple hours they said that they're going to have to like rip everything up and put everything down. I'm still contemplating whether or not I want to lock the cats up. I think I might try to see how they are first before I like turn around and start moving them into a room. I'm kind of hoping that they'll just like hide under a bed or something in the meantime while everything's being done because when the guy came up here for the measurements, she was kind of casual, like friendly, but wasn't in the way and then like he hid. So, which is weird because usually it's the opposite. Um, so I might try to wing it and see what happens because I don't want to stress them out more than we're already going to because all of this change, especially is freaking Cooper out. Like Dolly's kind of okay with it. Like, as you can see, she's like chilling in the window, but like Cooper's been like following me because he can sense that something's happening, but everything will be okay. And after the carpet's done, then tomorrow at some point, we're going to be getting our furniture. Um, and we ordered it last night. We, we decided to wait until Thursday night before we ordered anything. By the off chance that the carpet guys had to call and reschedule, we figured they would give us at least 24 hour notice. Um, and we didn't get a call or anything from them. So I'm going to assume everything is still a go because I haven't heard otherwise. And, uh, we're going to be getting the furniture delivered tomorrow, hopefully morning. I think it's just going to kind of be like whenever they can. Um, but we are getting a sectional. And we had our heart set on this one sectional. And then um, we did the measurement and we double checked like the room and the space that we had. And it turned out that the sectional was a lot longer than we thought, like at least the longest part of the sectional. Because this room from window to wall is about like 136 inches and the couch is 116. But then we thought, you know what, we still got like 20 inches, we'll be okay. So after some debating, we decided to go with it anyway and just kind of wing it. I mean, worst case scenario, and we have to like rearrange the living room differently than we anticipated, then I guess so be it, we would have to. But, uh, so those are coming the section on the recliner and then after the carpet's built I might try to do the tables tonight but I don't know if I'm going to be doing them alone after they're done depending what time they finish or like do them later tonight or I don't know something I'm trying to figure it out but that's where we're at and this is the empty living room right now as you can see it is very barren very echoey it's pretty crazy and um, yeah um, not gonna miss this carpet I'll say I'm not gonna miss it because this carpet was in rough shape when we took over the house and it's gotten worse in like three years three or four years so it's uh it's time to go this carpet was installed in like 99 i think john said and this house was built in 65 so time for a change indeed um it's exciting 
and doing all this is very stressful. So I had decided that I'm not going to be streaming tonight because right now our computer room is completely a wreck. Like you can't even get in the room. It's just filled to the brim with shit. Like we just took everything from this room, like the entertainment center and um, just like some like bookshelves and stuff. And they are all in the computer room. So I can't even get to my computer if I wanted to. I couldn't even stream anything. So, and then rather than like rush through everything with the delivery and stuff tomorrow, we figured that we would just focus on putting everything back together and then Sunday maybe hopefully relax. And even when we get the furniture and put everything else back, um, I'm still gonna have to get bookcases for the back wall because the couch is coming away from the back wall and we're gonna be putting um, media bookcases so we can stock all of our games and stuff on it because we have a lot a lot of games especially John John owns like four times the amount of games I do and there's just no room to put them like the because he likes to collect and buy physical editions of video games so he literally has like 3,000 games and there's no place to put them so it would be nice to just kind of have its own bookshelf back there so that way we could see what we have and display it nicely since we are pretty big gamers so we're kind of redesigning the living room with that in mind um that that's about it so i'm going to try to get everything else done and uh wait for them to get here Were you, you're licking that. Okay then. Cats are chill AF. <laughs> what were you doing? Were you being a long kitty? Were you being a long kitty? Don't get up there. So it's about quarter to ten and uh, no carpet guys. Kind of weird. I'm probably going to have to give them a call. But there have been a lot of activity up and down the road. Like I keep, like I'm watching YouTube videos and I keep stopping and then looking outside because I hear a truck and I think it's the carpet guys. And it's like some other truck driving down the road carrying some kind of rig that's spraying stuff. And it makes me concerned. <laughs> Like, what are you spraying on our road? Should I not leave the windows open? Like, what is going on? Oh, so I'm gonna give the carpet guys a call and see what the hell's going on. So I just got off the phone with them and it turns out the guy's running late. Of course he is, right? Like, like why would I get up at eight in the morning if I knew he was gonna be here at 10.30? Like, why? So I guess we're shooting for 10.30 now because for whatever reason they're running late, so. I have no idea how long it's going to take for them to get here or take everything out or if everything kind of got pushed back an hour or two. But uh, I guess we're just going to continue to chill here and just be like super flat coops and stuff, right? Super flat coops? Yeah. Cooper's like, I'm so stressed. I don't know what's happening, but I'm so stressed. And Dolly has just been like enjoying the window and like loving life and and watching the birds and stuff. Earlier, I caught her loafing in this plant box, which we're probably gonna end up taking the top part off of it, but she was up here. Super cute, but we can't let that happen because <laughs> then she'll just continue to do it. But we're gonna try to remove the top of that and just kind of make it a regular bookcase because unfortunately, this is like nailed into the wall or like screwed into the floor or something. It's like, it's here, it's not coming off anytime soon. So, I guess I'm just gonna continue to wait. Whoa! What's going on? Is there a cat outside? Or is it a bird? Listen, little lady, you ought to be uh, real nice on the blinds. What you looking at? Ghosts? 
Are there ghosts over there? What's happening? Do you see ghosts? Do you see ghosts? There's nothing here. Just all wall. You see ghosts? He sees ghosts. Actually, you probably see shadows from Dolly crashing into the window. Probably what you're seeing. Let's find out. No? I'm moving the blinds. No? Must have been like that freak moment. Still chilling out, waiting for carpet guys. So glad. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> You're stretching out on the wall. You wanna play for a little bit? You wanna play for a little bit before everyone comes over? Yeah. You want to play doll? Come on. Come on. Let's play. Oh, Cooper wants to play. Maybe I can wear you guys down so you guys can be calm and sleepy. Look at how flat she is. Look at how flat you are. I see you around the corner. <laughs> Got it. Oh boy, two flat kitties. Oh, oh boy. You wanna play a little more doll? You think, yeah, maybe not, I don't know. One thing I love about John not being home when I have the house to myself is I can open up all the doors and windows and let fresh air in. He's the one that likes to run the AC all the time. Unless it's like super cold out, then he'll leave every door and window open. But I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's muggy or too hot or anything. I think this is perfect. Looks like part one is just about finished and the guys have left, I guess, to go get some other kind of supplies or something. But uh, the underlayment is pretty much done. They just have to finish stapling it in and like fixing the edges and stuff. And uh, gonna be getting carpet. So I think that's what they went back for, honestly. I think they went back to get the carpet because they had a small truck. So look at the underlayment. Oh my God, underlayment. It's actually pretty cool feeling honestly it's like it's like cushy but it's like made of recycled material it's really neat it just kind of looks like a bunch of fabrics and patterns and stuff it looks really cool but uh dolly did come out for a little bit um when the guys showed up the cats just ran so they were under a bed so i didn't have to worry about them and now that the guys are gone they're trying to like come out and check things out and stuff but uh we're getting there it's progress so um, I'm hoping that they can get us a transition piece that we ordered. We had a transition piece ordered from the dining room floor 
to the carpet and we ordered a wood piece and they showed up with rubber and I'm like, no. <laughs> so I'm hoping that they're able to match because like, I don't even care if it's darker or lighter. We just wanted like a wood piece because it would just look nicer because they do that like tuck and staple stuff. And I'm sorry, but with cats that like constantly scratch the carpet and rip stuff up, I don't want that to just come up because they scratched a little too hard or whatever. So, uh, hopefully the rest of this goes well and is relatively quick and that would be super awesome. As you can see, our neighbors across the street have also been doing some construction work as well. And there's a lot of activity on this fucking road today. This thing looks like a hammer, but this is what they've been using to staple. It's pretty neat, honestly. I'm not going to touch anything, but I just wanted to show you how neat this is. It's like a hammer stapler. And our stuff is hanging out in the front yard, all of our old carpet and everything. The old underlayment that's under the carpet it's like the cushion padding that they put under carpets to kind of like make it softer and more cushiony the old underlayment that was under here was so old and disintegrating that it was turning to dust so the entire house right now has like dust on everything so after the carpet's in and they're gone i'll have to like really sweep and like mop and stuff later and dust everything because it's really bad and uh also, the guys, when they were in here, they were sweating so profusely, like sweat was like dripping off of their faces. And as I'm walking around talking to you guys, um, I'm stepping on the little sweating pieces. It's really uncomfortable and gross. Dolly is being very brave and she's trying to check everything out and sees all over it. It's really dusty out here, honey really dusty you don't want to be out here oh the doll sneezy doll you go in there honey go on go on unfortunately it's a little too dusty out here for her for her allergies so she tried to be brave but I'll keep her in there Yeah, I shouldn't really be walking around here barefoot. Probably not a good idea. This is the iron that they use to seam the carpets together when they cut them. I forget how hot they say it gets, but that's like all the glue, the excess glue, they use a scrap piece and then they put a piece of tape underneath that has glue on it. Then they heat it up, then they seam the carpet together and then they use this little tool here to just kind of weld the carpet together, just kind of brush it together, it's like a comb. And I'm not allowed to walk on it for like 15 20 minutes so I'm just kind of watching it all settle in we're all done Dolly's the first one out to walk on it come here there you go look at that wow yeah it's new you like it do you like it you're almost the same color as our carpet now. It's going to be harder to find you. Tell Cooper it's okay to come out. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, you were scolding me. You hid as soon as they came back. But you were scolding me for locking you up. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? There's a piece of whatever. What do you think? Oh, you're so happy. So 
nice. It's so soft. Yeah, look at all the dust under the table. I have to sweep. I'll put your cat tree back. I have not seen Cooper for like a bazillion hours at all. I have no idea where he is. Well, look at you. You're like, oh, look, the cat tree's in the bedroom. I'm cool with that. Oof. Oof. Oh, the hard claims. The hard claims. Yeah. You love the new carpet. Give you a tweet. Three, okay? Just three. The coop. Coopy, come here. Come here. You want some treats? Come here. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. You're okay. Come here. You want it? It's all right. It's okay. Cooper's like traumatized. Do you want this? Do you want this? No? Wow. Turn down treats. Do you don't want treats? Now see, Dolly was out in two seconds and Cooper's like, what happened? Is everything okay? Are you okay? Come here. Come here. He's like, nope. Cooper always has the hardest time adjusting to change. What's going on? What's happened? What have we done? What have we done, Cooper? This is way too much change. I know it's really stressful. <laughs> he might end up staying in the rooms for like a couple days because it's okay. You're all right. Go on. Look at Dolly running around. She don't care. Go join her. Like, nope, nope, mommy. It's scary. I was thinking they were both in the spare room. She was, and I guess he was under our bed. Which I'm surprised because our bedroom door has been open the entire time that they were here and he didn't even bother coming out once. So that's really good, but it's also rare for Cooper to not want to be involved in things going on around the house. He's usually like under tow all the time. And this time he's like, nope. There you go, Coop. He's like, nope, scary noises, goodbye. But look at the doll just sitting here. She's like, I own this place. This is nice. Yeah, you nice kitty. Nice camel kitty. Oh boy. But this is the carpet. And the kitty that matches it. And the hallway with Cooper. With a scared Cooper down at the end. So from about... 10.30 to like 3.18 and that included an hour break that they were gone. Not bad, honestly. It was, it, it was kind of like I expected it to be. And uh, they even vacuumed for us so we didn't have to worry about vacuuming up all the little pieces. Cool, you're gonna come join us? Come join us on the new carpet, Luca. Come here, Luca. That's it, Dolly. Show him. Come here. Look at the kitties on the new carpet. Oh, wow. So nice. So nice. There you go, Coop. There you go. Okay. Do a little better? Yeah. You're fine. You love it. Yeah. Yeah. You're going. 
I know you need attention. You need attention. All the noises outside. There's so much stuff going on in our street today and in our house. Whatever are we to do? Whatever are we to do, Coop? Dolly's like, I'm perfectly fine with all this. And Cooper's like stressing out. So they told us a couple of things regarding the carpet. Um, one that we're still gonna find little tiny fibers all over the place uh, while we're vacuuming and like using the carpet for a couple of weeks and uh, that it's normal, that we don't have to worry about it. But um, we have to saw our closet door down a little bit because the carpet is too high and the door kind of like runs, like pushes it too much. But they endlessly seamed it right where I'm sitting. I don't know if you could see it, but like it seemed like right over here somewhere. This is like a whole separate piece. And then this in the center over here is one giant piece in the hallways, two pieces. And the way that they seamed it, you can't even tell, which is super awesome. Um, they did a good job. They did a really good job. Um, it was nice to see what the floor looked like under it. And people have told us, like my family and like a bunch of friends have told us over the years to, you know, tear the carpet up and use the hardwood floor under it. And to us, it's too much maintenance. We actually like having carpet because we like to walk around barefoot and like with socks and stuff. So like it's harder on hardwood floor. It's a lot more uncomfortable and yeah. What are you sniffing? What are you sniffing? I actually have to put the heater piece back on. But the carpet is finished. And they even put in some nice transition pieces, which I'll show you. It's okay, Coop. He's like following me around. Following me like what's going on, what happened. So this is one transition piece that is wood. And first they were going to try to give us black rubber that I mentioned earlier, but um, we did pay for the wood, so we got the wood. And then they got metal in here. And then they have this seamed together, that seamed together. This room also seamed together. As you can see, the room that has like a bunch of junk and TV and stuff in it. That is the computer room <laughs> that I stream in, so that's why I'm not streaming tonight. And then we have... Ugh! One in there, but it's really hard to open this door. Ugh. So luckily it's just a closet door and we're not in and out of it so much, but my brother might be able to help us sand, sand that down. They also gave us the rest of the carpet pieces. So we've got like two rolls about three foot wide and then like one that's maybe like a foot and a half to two feet, which is fine because Maybe in the future, if I can convince John to get rid of this bookcase over here, then maybe we'll have carpet pieces to uh, put there. But they installed this transition piece too, which looks really nice, it's silver. The older ones were gold. So the silver looks better in my opinion because like, we don't have anything in the house that's gold. I don't think anybody does anymore. But it's coming along really, really, really well. Um, I think now I might turn around and put the coffee tables together while John is gone and the kitties are trying to get used to everything. So I'll probably do that. And then by the time everything's said and done, John should be coming home and we'll be good. Hi, Koopy. Oh my god, Dolph. I didn't even see you. You blend in. So this is our living room right now. 
and we're still in the early transition parts. There's still a couple of things to put in here, um, some stuff that we have to do. It's still kind of barren. As you can see, the wall behind me has nothing on it. That's because back here, we're going to be putting bookcases all across the back wall, and they're going to house our video games for the systems that we have out here. And uh, so we got this yesterday morning, Saturday morning, and we spent all day yesterday just lounging, enjoying, relaxing. It's so nice to have a couch again. And this couch is super comfortable. The pillows also came with it, and I thought they're really nice. There's six pillows that came with it. And this area right here is what we're referring to as the nook. Um, I was playing Splatoon 2 on it a lot yesterday, and everyone agrees the nook is awesome because it's just this little corner. Hey, no fighting. It's just this little corner where you can just kind of like kick back, relax, and it's just, it's comfortable, especially when you get all the pillows around you, and it's good for gaming. It's great for watching TV because the TV's right here. Um, so far, so good, and the cats have been really well with the carpet. I have not, knock on wood, um, I have not seen them scratch the carpet yet, but they have been trying to scratch the furniture, so I've been trying to deter them from it, um, but I think overall everything's just like a new different scent compared to everything that we had in here last, so uh, I feel like they were always trying to mark their territories on the old carpet because there used to be dogs and stuff in this house years ago so they probably smell a lot of their scents and they're trying to compete with that whereas now it's a clean slate so now it's just them there's nobody else so i'm hoping over time once the furniture stops being new it'll stop being a target for claws but um uh, i've actually been contemplating um getting cooper those little claw caps that you see that kind of look like they've painted nails I've been contemplating it because Cooper I have the problem with with scratching. Dolly not so much. Dolly will try and usually when you tell her not to or you kind of like shoo her away then she'll stop. But Cooper will just kind of like go to the other side and then try to scratch. He just feels like he needs to dig his claws into everything. And as you can see he has a very nice cat tree and he also has several scratching posts throughout the house. So. I don't know what the solution is, but right now, back here, the only thing that's back here is the crinkle bag for them, and Dolly's over there, hiding, um, but we have this barren wall, which we're going to line with, um, two big bookcases, and possibly, like, a little end table bookcase thing, so I can put, like, a lot of the candles and stuff that used to be in the living room away somewhere, so that way it's out of the way, but, uh, we have the air conditioner which is accessible and it's just nice when you come in and there's just enough room right here and if we ever need more room this can obviously get moved it's not a big deal but uh i like it it looks really homey and snuggly um this is going to be nice for when people come over and the tables we also got uh at the same place so these are like a marble so they're like really super glossy and nice um, I'm thinking, though, I might end up putting some picture frames on them temporarily because, unfortunately, the cats think that they're like a table they can jump on, <laughs> which uh, we're trying to deter them off certain furnitures. Like, if you want to train your cats a certain way, you train them from the get-go because then it's easier because letting them climb on a table for, like, years and then telling them they can't do it, they're not going to be able to do that. Ray right, Cooper? You enjoy the couch? Do you like it? Yeah, is it nice? It's comfy. You've never had something this comfy before. Brr. Comfy coop. <laughs> so they're getting used to it, and I think the living room is coming together nicely. So we've just been enjoying it. We've just been having fun. It's nice to actually have uh, everything closer to the TV since we do a lot of our stuff near the TV. I'm excited to get back into recording out here because now I'll be able to sit right where Cooper is and play games on the TV. And uh, I think the only thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get extenders for my um, headset 
So I'm probably going to have to buy those online. And uh, maybe I can start a game on there. But right now I'm in the middle of working on some PC games, which the computer room is still kind of fucked. There's still stuff everywhere. So it's still going to take a little bit more time to clean out and get everything situated. But hopefully... Um, the living room will be completely done in the next week or two and will be gold in here. So that's pretty cool. So it feels nice to see that one of our rooms has completely changed for the most part. Um, first thing to change, I think, was the bathroom and then our bedroom um, and then the guest room. Well, then, then like the dining room kind of, then the guest room, now the living room. There's still some stuff around the house that needs to be upgraded, updated, changed, but uh, I like how this is coming out and John likes it too, so it's, it makes it really super helpful um, that we're both on the same page and it's so comfortable. I don't know, I'm rambling now. I'm just rambling, but it, it's just nice. So, Cooper agrees too. Don't you, Coop? Yeah, you agree. And my camera battery is dying, so I gotta hurry the fuck up and talk. Um, there was one thing that John pointed out that the carpet guys, when they were here, fucked up on. And that is this. They actually threw away one of our baseboard pieces when they put this transition piece down. So we're missing one, so we've contacted them, and I guess they're going to be uh, sending someone over, hopefully. We'll see, but uh, other than that, everything's great. So I guess today's just like a lays around laundry day. Um, we might go to the store later to pick up like some new odds and ends for the living room. Like we need new coasters because our old coasters would scratch the tops of the table. So we need to get like silicone coasters and um, just a little bit of things, just, just some tiny things. I'm not really into the whole decor thing, um, so John's going to be putting up on the walls, he's going to hang a bunch of his video game posters on this wall. So that's going to look pretty neat. And uh, that's pretty much our Sunday. It's pretty much how we're going to spend our day. How are you going to spend your day, Mr. Coop? How are you going to spend your day? You're going to just sit there? Yeah? You got the best seat in the house, buddy. So I realized when I was putting together the vlog that I had a really shitty outro, so I'm redoing it a little bit better, hopefully. Um, I'm out here currently to check the pool because, as you can see, it's still kind of green, still kind of nasty, but that's because we've been having a really super wet and rainy summer, and uh, I have to come out here and check it and get it all situated so I'm out here to clean it and it's a lot better than it looked yesterday so I'll give it that much credit but um it has been not a miserable week not a fantastic week just a week just a blah week um between everything going on um and uh just doing my best to get back into doing video games and stuff because that's something that I really want to do and the more that I go through life the harder it gets to do it and I don't really even want to say it's because I don't have time like I, I don't even necessarily know if it's because I don't have time or if it's because I just can't manage it well maybe that's more so the problem but regardless I gotta I gotta do something I gotta change something um, 
Work is still the same, absolutely the same. Um, today was a little bit worse than the same, but the same. And I am trying to refrain from not discussing work because one, I don't want to get in trouble, and two, you know, if I come on here and I complain about it all the time, that's really not healthy either. So, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same. And I have been looking for jobs and mostly miss, mostly miss. Mostly it's, it's companies that are advertising a lot of shit for something very low pay for my position. And like, they want you to do six different things for ten dollars an hour and it's like no realistically that's not something that is even remotely considered in a lot of positions and it, it's not like I have some kind of giant sense of pride where it's like oh I, I would never take a job like this but like since I am employed currently I'm not desperate like I'm desperate to get out of work but I'm not like holy shit I don't have a job and I need something so like I'm I'm not trying to grab something you know like it's the only opportunity I'll ever get, but it is hard. So I'm still looking basically. And I've been looking into other things as well, not just graphic design. I've been looking at other jobs as a whole and like entry level jobs have even changed. So I really don't know where to go from here. Honestly, I don't know what will be the next step. I don't know if I want to even continue graphic design, you know, I, I might not be having fun with it currently because it's not really graphic design what I'm doing. I mean, yes, I work for the newspaper and yes, I kind of do, you know, graphic design, but I do mainly advertising. So like, I don't know if it's because of what I'm currently doing and using my field for is like not making me happy. So that's another thing to consider. But yeah, um, really nice out here, honestly. It's, it's really pretty. It's like, even the sky is like all pretty. Clouds are all ripply. It's like really nice. But uh, yeah, that is, that is pretty much it. So I, I just trying to figure out the next step and I'm just trying to truck along. Uh, living room is pretty much done, um, except for the fact we have to put posters up, but that'll be just kind of like an accent thing that's not like um, something dire that needs to be done. But we just got the bookcase yesterday, put it together, and it fits a lot of stuff on there. So I, uh, if it's requested, I might give a little bit more detail on games and stuff that we have and like show you more of an in-depth look of like what we have. Most of that is John's. <laughs> Most of that is John's. The only like whole tier down the right side is mine. So uh, glad that the living room is pretty much finished and um, just right now out here by a green pool on a Thursday night and looking forward to the weekend. So cheers to the weekend. What's wrong? Are you angry? Am I dying? Should I come inside? Oh my goodness. You're really upset. Whatever will you do? See, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. 